Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a anime engine for or RPG gaming and I want this for the enemy chase you when he's close to you and move handily if he's far to you, you know, do random movements if he's far of you and make it to attacking animations when he very, he's very close to you so I want you to create some sprites for your enemy I want you to put a standing sprite of him just like the player the four directions and remember the number of the sub images zeros up, one right, two is down put the region just like the player make four sprites for the running one sprite per direction same as attack and let's go to the object and create an object for the enemy I'll call it OBJ enemy I'll put the sprite of his standing and let's go to the create event and put the script in this script I'm going to put the variables fuck that, that that's very nasty okay I will put the variables of our enemy I will work with three variables this time move equals zero move time equals 60 and attack equals zero this move I'll not do the same as the player no I'm not going to do it I will use zero for stop one for up two right three down and four left remember you choose that that don't have functions yet we're going to put it this move time is the time that I will set for him moving remember that 30 steps means one second so what I'm going to do I'm going to remove one move time per step so this is going to take two seconds for change let's go to the step event put another script and let's make first the random movement here in the beginning I want, to, I want you to put move time negative equals one so every step we're going to remove one of the move time and when the move time gets to zero if move time equals zero this code run move choose one zero one two three and four so when he gets to zero the move will change for any one of these five numbers here that's random and the move time will get back for 60 that will take remember two seconds okay let's go to the move engine if move different of zero so he's having a movement I will put image speed equal one so we'll have some animations if move equals zero, that means he's not moving. Sprite index equal. No, I'm going to put this later. If sprite index equal SPR enemy run up. So he was running up, then he stops. The image index will be zero. Okay. Let's do this for the four directions okay I'm done here I made it for the four directions as you can see and let's put image speed equal zero and sprite index equal SPR and enemy stand so when moves gets to zero he'll check the direction he was running before to change the sprite the image index the image speed goes to zero so he will not have animation and the sprites go to the stand let's make now for the movement equals one if move equals one the sprite index will be the enemy running up that's what I want and another thing we don't want our enemy go through the wall so we're going to put a restriction for his movement right here if place free 
x y negative 2 y negative equal to okay so what do that means i want the enemy speed going up to be 2 so in the place 3 i will check 2 coordinates above of him so he can move if there is a solid in the way he not move now i'll copy and i'll do it for the four directions remember that i will put move one for up two for right and the whole circle okay so i guess i'm done here very good almost done we don't want our enemy to make the movement when he's attacking so we're going to put some restriction here It will only happen if the attack is equal to zero and the enemy distance to the object OBJ player is smaller than 74 coordinates because we want him to move handily only if he's far for the player. Oh, I wrong, I mistake here. Okay, if he's plus 75 coordinates for the player he will do the random movement and it's all well right now for the chasing movement well that's very complicated it's a very advanced coding that I made right here so I'm not going to show you how I made it because it's very big and confused so I'm going to give you and we, you will copy it and paste in your code First, let's put the restrictions we want here. If distance to object, object player is smaller or equal 75, this code will happen. Well, I know it looks very, very big. It's very advanced and is the best enemy change sprite movement engine. I ever seen and I'm not copying for anyone I made by myself and it's the only one that I've seen to work I tried to find a lot of them on the internet and the GMC forum but I now can I never found it so I made my own I'll give you if you are curious about how this works you get it and try to understand it this action potential step he will put the coordinate we want our enemy to follow so i put here the player x and the player y here is the speed and this zero means all the solids that is all we need for the the chase movement and remember not attacking he won't move attacking very good let's put now the the attacking engine I want him to attack the player when he's very close to the player. So if attack equals zero and distance to the object, object player is smaller or equal, let's put five, four, four. The attacks goes to one very good if attack equals one now let's check the sprites if sprite index is equal spr enemy run up the sprite index will be spr enemy attack up and we're going to do this for again for the four directions so okay here but we want to when he ends the animation he get back for the running movement okay well I guess that not be necessary right now and we want the speed
No, I guess that's not be really necessary. That's all we need right now. Let's put the enemy in the room. I'll put far enemies and close enemies. Let's test it. Look, he's following me. Oh yeah, we're going to have... Oh, look, we got some bugs here. And I know why it's bugging. Because he won't get back for the attack equals zero, never. We didn't put this right here. So, what I want you to do is go to the attack sprite and check which, which, is, which is the last sub image, is the seven. So, we're going to put when the image index is seven, he is going to back to the attack equals zero. So, let's go do this. If image index equals seven attack will get back for zero and i'm going to put again i uh, image speed here i think we're going to need this but if you don't need it's good to put okay okay yeah this will this will work now hope this works he's follow me the others enemies or make a random movement because they are far to me. I'll get close. He's following me now. They follow me. Now he's attacking me. See, we got in a good engine here of enemy attacking and run after you. <laughs> That's pretty beautiful. Let, let's see if they can check the solids in the way. Yes, they can check the solids. See, that's a very smart engine. I hope you guys enjoy it. The next tutorial, well, I don't know what I'm going to do in the next, but I guess I'm going to make the life and mana and the experience things for the enemy and the player. So, if you guys like the video, give your thumbs up or subscribe for more content of Game Maker. Hope you enjoy. See you next video.